I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your Lightning Session, brought to you by Voltage, offering enterprise-grade infrastructure services for Bitcoin, like hosted nodes, BTC Pay servers, and inbound liquidity. You can check them out now at voltage.cloud. Coin Control, otherwise known as UTXO Management, is a tool that you can use to help preserve your Bitcoin privacy. Here we have Sparrow Wallet with a total balance of 175,000 sats and its transaction history down below. However, this doesn't tell the whole story, as if we go over to UTXOs, we can see that we actually have three separate coins sitting in our wallet, each with their own unique transaction history. Wallets often default to creating transactions in the most efficient manner. However, doing so without any forethought may result in you giving away private information unknowingly. There's a red flag in this transaction here as they are utilizing KYC Bitcoin, meaning it's associated with their name and address. Furthermore, we can see this individual is mingling their KYC and non-KYC Bitcoin, which undoes any previous privacy actions and indicates associated ownership. So what can be done to prevent these types of mistakes? First up, always establish where your Bitcoin has come from, either by attaching a label prior to receiving via the receive screen, or by going into the UTXO menu, clicking on the individual UTXO label and renaming it as you see fit. Next, make sure you decide which UTXOs can and should be used with a particular transaction. If you've already created your transaction and you don't want a UTXO used, you can simply hit the X button beside it to get rid of it. Alternatively, if you go to the UTXO menu and you click on a specific coin, you'll be presented with the option in the bottom right hand corner to hit send selected and then adjust the total amount being sent. Within Sparrow Wallet, you do have a couple other options, one of which is once you've constructed a transaction, go down to the bottom and hit the Privacy tab, which will create a transaction that looks like a two-person coin join. If you'd like more information on any of the topics at hand, you can find in-depth tutorials on my YouTube channel.